Okay, we want to take a look today at the server-based authentication methods. First thing I'd like you to recognize on this packet tracer is these connections between the switches and routers. Some of them have orange dots. Anytime you do a connectivity test, you want to make sure that all those are green triangles first. It's just like a real network as it's coming up. Not everything is automatically connected. It has to negotiate speeds and uh, set up all of the connection parameters. So until that happens, we can't test any connectivity. So while that's happening, which this one's already done, but I'm going to go ahead and change my user profile to put in your name so that it's already up top because if I don't do it to begin with I will forget before I'm done. <laughs> um, so I've got the packet tracer name, uh, my, the, my name and the date and time up there. So when I do my screenshots it'll be the way it needs to be. I also like to undock my address table so it's off to the side and I can see all of my devices along with my addressing table and my instructions. So during this packet tracer we're going to set up a TAC access server, a verify server-based AAA authentication from the PCB client. We're going to configure server-based AAA authentication using RADIUS. So that's just two different kinds of servers. And we'll verify that from the PCC client. Here it gives us our usernames and passwords that have already been configured and some that we're going to configure. So we'll start with part one. Step one, we want to test our connectivity. We'll start at PCA. Go to our command prompt and we're going to ping PCB. So we'll check our addressing table over here and we'll see that PCB is 192.168.2.3. A lot of times when a network first comes up, even though the connections are good, until the ARP tables are filled out on the routers and switches, it's not going to reply immediately to the first ICMP packet that is sent out when you ping. It will time out while it's filling in that table, but as long as you get any of the four replies back, then you have connectivity. Our next step is we want to ping PCC from PCA. So when we look over to our addressing table, we see that PCC is 192.168.3.3. .3. So we'll ping that and see what kind of response we get. just like before the first one timed out but the other three went through no problem. Our next connectivity test needs to come from PCB. That's at the top of your screen. Go to your command prompt and it's asking you to ping PCC which is 3.3. Alright so all four ICMP packets were returned um, a little bit of delay there on the latency, but nothing that's unreasonable. As long as we got a response, we're good to go. So we're going to configure uh, for, so we can back up. We can have a backup username and password to log in to our switch or router. We're going to configure another username of admin2 with a secret password of admin2 PA55 on R2. So we'll go to the CLI, enable. The password for enable is Cisco ENPASS. Oops, I'm sorry. Cisco ENPA55. Once you're in privilege mode, you're going to continue your to configure your terminal. 
now that we've got to our configure stage we're going to set up our username capital A D M I N number two and we want it to be a secret password of admin 2 PA55 that's showing that we've got a 12 percent completion I like to look as I'm going to make sure that what I'm what I'm entering is counting towards my completion not all packet tracers have a completion percentage some of them are just for uh, viewing but the ones that do have a percentage I like to look as I'm going to make sure that it's matching up so that was step two we made our admin to and our secret password so now we want to verify the server configuration so we want to click on the server look at our services and go down to AAA want to make sure that R2 is the client correct IP so R2 is 192.168.2.1 it is set up as a server tech access yeah tech access <laughs> and our key is tech access PA55 we also want to verify our username has been taken in here as admin2 with the password of admin2 PA55 so we've verified that those things are set up and we're ready to go there step four is we're going to configure the server IP address and the secret key on R2 so we need to open R2 back up again and to set up our key and our server address we're going to use these commands here on the left TACAC TACX server host we're going to put in the address 192.168.2.2 and we're going to set up the key T A C A C S P A five five. So now that we've set that up, we're going to enable AAA on R two, and configure all logins to authenticate using the TACAX server. If it's not available, then use the local database. The commands that we want to use for that is triple A new model triple A authentication login default group T A C A C S plus space local now we'll watch our percentage go from 25 to 37 so now we want to configure our line console so your console port on your switch is where most um, you have two options to access your switch your console port or your VTY lines so console is a physical connection when you walk up and plug a cable in so our line console 0 we're going to make the login authentication default <laughs> and then we want to verify the user on this let's see if we can do this first I like to write memory to save what I've done
All right, so that put in the admin2, and the password was admin2pa55. We're back ready to enable Cisco ENPA55. And we are back in our, our privilege exec mode. So we'll check. We have 50% completion. We're good to go on that. We can close R2 at this point. Next, we want to configure server-based AAA authentication using RADIUS on R3. So step one, we want to configure a username of admin3 and a secret password of admin3pa55 on R3. So we'll open R3, go to the CLI, Cisco ENPA55, configure terminal, we're going to add the username admin3 and uh, oops we need to do our secret password secret admin3pa55 so we want to configure the radius server specifics on r3 and to do that, we're going to use the commands here on the left side to put the RADIUS server key and IP address in. So it's RADIUS dash server host 192.168 3.2 radius server key R A D I U S P A 5 5 so we're up to 62 percent now check your percentages as we're going if you're not at this percentage, you might need to back up and do some more configuring. So now we want to enable AAA on R3 and configure all logins to authenticate using the AAA RADIUS server. If that server is not available, then we can use the local database. So that's AAA, new model. AAA, authentication, login, default, group, radius, local. So that's basically saying go to radius first and then go to local if the radius server is not available. Then we want to configure our line console zero, which is where we can walk up and physically put a cable into our switch or router, and that's how we're planning to configure it. So anybody that walks up is going to have to have this these login credentials. So it's login authentication default. Then we need to verify this. Again, I'll exit out. Old habits die hard. I'm going to write my memory. Then I can exit again. It's going to ask me for my username. Admin3. Admin3PA55. There we go. It took it a minute. 
but where completion rate is at a hundred so this was would be where you'd want to take your uh, screenshot if you want to put it at the bottom of your instruction hope you got hope this guys hope this helped you guys if you have any questions feel free to reach out and we'll uh, take a look at it together have a great day